Hello once again, this is your teacher Jenny and join me once again for another discussion for finding the area under the normal curve or the normal distribution. So here we have find the area between z equal to negative 1.23 and z equal to 0 0.21. So this time we have two values for your z one from the negative side or the left side of your curve and the other one is on the right side of the curve so what and how are we going to do to find your area so that is now our problem so if you've noticed if we wanted to really plot this one on our distribution here your area would look like this so this will be negative 1.23 somewhere here. So we do the estimation there of the location of your point. And then we are going to connect that one on the curve. And then we locate also the 0 0.21, which is somewhere here. And then we connect that one to your curve. And then this is your area. Okay. Now, notice you've got there an area which is not connected to the center or the mean or z equal to zero. And mind you, whenever you are going to look at the z table, the values there are areas coming from z equal to zero or from the center or from the mean. So, in order for us to solve this one, we have to build uh, or establish a connection between that z value towards your zero and locate that one, the z value there to your z table. That will be the area for that connection from zero to the certain value of your z. So let's have that one here. So this one here from zero until your z, which is equal to 0 0.21, we will have to get that value of the area from your z table. So how to do that one? Just locate 0 0.21 on the table. So locating that one, we have 0 0.2 here on the column and one on the header. Now going down and we move across, this is our area. So that's now the area of this point here from zero until this certain value of z, this is what we have for 0 0.0832. Because again, your area must be connected to your zero so that you can use your z table. Okay? Now, next, your negative 1.23, you are connected to your zero by this area. So what we are going to look for on the z-table will be this area only. So loca locating that one, that will be for 1.2 somewhere here. And then your 3 here for the last digit here will also be the last digit on the header. So that will be here. So moving down and moving across, we get the area as 0.3907. That is the area on this side here, which is connected to your zero. Now, once you're done for that one, automatic you'll be adding the two areas because as you can see here, this area, once you've added that one up here, that will be comprising the entire area which we are looking for. So that means we'll be adding 0 0.3907 and 0 0.0832 as your area for the entire thing. So adding that up, this is 9, this is 3, this is 17. So we have to, to put 1 at the top and then we have 4 here. So we have 0 0.4739 as your area for the entire thing. And that can also be written as, in percent, as 47.39%. So that is how you are going to find your area between two Z 
values which doesn't have a value which is equal to zero. So meaning to say two z values that are non zeros. Okay, so let's move on to the next example. So next example is we have here finding the area from z equal to negative 1.2 and z equal to 0 0.63. So how to look for the area on that one? Now we can actually look for the area without the use of the illustration or without illustrating that one. We can look for the area right away. How to do that one? We have to follow this one here, the OSA. So I always teach this one to my students, the method for the OSA here, because I guess this is the easiest one for you to remember because when you go along finding the area, it will become more complicated if every cases will be mixed up. So for you to remember or for my student to remember what to do if that will be the Z value given and you are going to look for that area there, then we will be using the OSA. OSA means you will have their opposite, O for the opposite, and then S here for the sign. So if, not, if we're not using the illustration, then of course we will be comparing the sign. If we are having the illustration, of course, sometimes we are finding the area given an illustration. So if that's the case, then we will have to look at the site. So signs and then the sites. Now, A here stands for add. So this is simply or this is very easy for you to remember. Also means opposite side or opposite sides add or opposite signs add. So here we have the two values for your Z and simply looking at it, we can know right away what to do with our areas of the two Z values there. So first one is negative, the other one is positive. So that means they have opposite sign. One is negative, the other one is positive. So if that's the case, then we'll be adding, adding their corresponding areas which are found on the Z table. So first we'll look at 1.2. 1.2 is here. We don't have a third digit there that is understood that that has a zero right after two. So that means we're looking for this area wherein we have 1.2 in the column and a zero on the header. The area is this one. So we have that one as 0 0.3849. The other Z value is 0 0.63. Locating the 0 0.6 here on the column and 3 on the header there. Then we go down and we move across. This will be your area. So we have here 0 0.2357. We're adding that up. That will be equal to 16 here. And this one is 0. And this one is 12. And this one is 6. So we have that as 0 0.6 to 0 0.6. Or that will be 62.06%. Now, let's try to illustrate that one to check, just to check whether we are doing the right thing. So il illustrating that one, we have negative 1.2 somewhere here. And then 0 0.63 might be here. And then connecting that one on the curve. And then drawing our area here. So we have this one. So as you can see there, we are doing the right thing that we are adding the areas of the two Z values. So I hope it's clear everybody. And I hope it's not confus confusing on your part. So let's move on to the next one. So by simply looking at that one, using the method I've introduced, then you are ready right away to look for the area. So without doing the illustration in there. So again, we have here negative and the other one is positive. So we are now using OSA, opposite sign we add. So locating 0 0.23 on the table, we have 0 0.2. 
and then three on the header. We go down and we move across to get the area. Area is 0 0.0910. The area for 0 0.21, locating that up on the table. We have this as 0 0.2 again, but the header will be with the one because you have this one as a third digit. So going down and moving across, we have this area. So let me just clear that up. So that is equal to 0 0.0832. So adding that up, this is now equal to 2, 4, this is 17. So we have 1 in here. So we have that as 0 0.1742 or that is equivalent to 17.42%. So again, we have to try to check it on our illustration. So we can have the negative 2, 0 0.23 here, somewhere here. And the 0 0.21 might be somewhere here. So we can just do this one and draw. So notice, you've got here smaller area. And it makes sense that we have your area as 17.42%. So next, we go to the next example here. And again, this is with negative. The other one is positive. So we know what to do. We follow also. Opposite sign, we add. So we have 0 0.89 locating that one. We have 0 0.8 on the column and 9 on the header. So we go down and we move across to get the area. So we have 0 0.3133. Adding that up to 0 0.13. So we have 0 0.1 on the column and 3 on the header. We go down and we move across. We've got the area as 0 0.0517. So adding that up, this is 0. This is 10, by the way. And we have that as 5. This one is 6. This one is 3. So we have 0 0.3650 or 0 0.3650. Or that is 0 0.365. They are the same. So we can also have that one as 36.5% or 36.50%. So illustrating, you have that one here, the 0 0.89 more likely. And the 0 0.13 might be somewhere here. So this is now your area. Okay, so that's it. So I hope you've learned something from me and I hope... It's not confusing anymore. Take note, if you have their opposite sign, you add. If on the illustration, you've got opposite sides, then you add. Again, this is your teacher, Jenny, and wishing you good luck on your test for this coming um, mastery test.